All right, guys, right, you've got DJ Squib here, another session of Frag Fantastic Retro Arcade Gaming. And today is a little bit different. We're doing a mobile session. Um, sitting down the seafront at the minute. Got this new display, this Lead Star screen. It's a 14 inch screen. Um, and I've got it for when we go camping, vamping, whatever you want to call it um, so we can watch a bit of telly watch some films play some games um, but yes yeah, so I'm sitting in the cab at the minute in my van and uh, a little bit of uh, mobile gaming therapy for you <laughs> right so first up let's have a game on golf uh, from 1981 this is an old version of MAME that I'm using I've got it all paired from my laptop um, I've had to use a VGA HDMI cable converter, um, so it's not a true HDMI, but it, it's as near as you can get with this old laptop I've got. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do a bit of golf. I love that vocal. There weren't many games that had that at the time, but yeah. <laughs> now, with this was in the arcades. Obviously, it's a it's a crossover. You've got like a Space Invaders type game. But what I liked about this, if you shot once and didn't shoot again, it would travel all the way to the top. But if you shot really quick, you've got a very f quick firing laser. But obviously it doesn't travel all the way to the top. Oh. Now we're sitting in my van, as I said, and it is quite windy. <laughs> so there might be a little bit of rocking on the camera. So I hope you don't get too seasick motion sick. Oh, I'm not doing very good here. Let's get this cable sorted out. Also, you can move up and down the screen a little bit. Now in the arcades, this had a great big joystick. It was it was a bit like a flight stick, really. But it was sort of like Space Invaders, Galaxian clone, um, but with a twist, you know. Starting to get a little bit busy down the seafront now. What's the time? 9.40. Sunday. So this was one of my favourites. I played. The thing is, I was around when the, the games were in the arcade when I was a kid, and as I said, there weren't many games that had vocal speech in it, you know. I don't know how long I'm going to get to record this down here because see, it's a sunny day and people do come out for a walk and park up but just hope we don't get bothered too much <laughs> right, not doing that well am I? right, we have one more bash so I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while you know, play some retro arcade stuff so this is all off of mine, but it's a, it is an old version of mine. 
Um, but I just wanted to show a few games, you know, and obviously show off this lead star monitor. Um, again, it is a TV, so it's got a built-in tuner. Um, the only the only thing I will say, and it is an obvious thing, is the speakers of there's two speakers in the back of the telly, and they are very small. I think there's, there's two two watt speakers, so don't expect any cinema type bass out of it but it's good enough good enough to play a few games and watch a bit of telly or watch a film and everything I've thrown at this monitor i.e. like different film files it plays everything and um, you can plug USB into it, uh, an SD card, so you can watch stuff on it, uh, and I believe with the USB you can actually record a TV program to it. And so I only got this purely for when we when we do a bit of vamp, a vamping. So my son and me have got a little bit of entertainment, watch some films and play some games and that. But it's a good display, obviously it is uh, coming from VGA converted to HDMI. But what I did with the TV tuner on this, I actually tuned it in on the house aerial so we get a good signal. Now it does come with a plug-in aerial. Now you can get a powered version of the of the aerial. Plugs into the side of the, the screen via USB. But in the box this come uh, it's got a little remote control, uh, the little TV antennae. Um, it's got a standard plug that you plug in the wall, you know, like a home plug, three pin plug. And it's also, it comes with a, a 12 volt plug, so you can plug it into your, your caravan, your car, or whatever you want to do. But yeah, it's pretty good, this little, this little telly. It weren't dear, I think it was about £75. I mean, there are dearer ones out there, but I didn't want nothing too special. Right, okay, we'll call that a day with this one. <laughs> a bit of golf. Now, I did have a list of games that I'd wrote down, but stupidly, I rem well, not stupid, I remembered everything else, but I forgot <laughs> uh, my list of games that I was going to do. So, I can, I can remember them. So, let's go... Asteroids is one of my favourites. So let's have a go. Now this is from 1979. Make sure we're still recording. Yeah. Mic's still plugged in. Using me Rode stereo mic, the powered one. Um, picks up a little bit better. As I say, it's a bit windy outside. The van is rocking a bit, so. And I've had to put it on a narrow view. Um, so I can get a, I mean this is an old school way of capturing stuff, but I wanted to do it rough and ready, you know, low tech, what the heck. Right, so let's go. Right, so this game, it's brilliant, and it's basically got the Space Invaders sound, you know, with the bomp, bomp, the movement. What was the hyperspace? Ah, oh, look, it wasn't that one. <laughs> right, let's just get the hyperspace one. Right. So that's that one. Okay. Now, when <clears throat> I'm lucky enough that I live south and so we've got a great big seafront, and in the day there was hundreds of arcade games, all the all the good stuff. Now, asteroids, my 
most vivid me memory of playing this was there was a swimming pool called Warrior Square. It was actually right in the heart of the, t just around the back of the town centre. And there was a long passage that you walked down once you paid to get in the swimming pool. Come here, you little sod. But there was a long passage, and at the end of the passage, there was asteroids. Um, I believe it might have been Scramble. And I got shot. But say, this game was so loud that when you're walking up this long passage to go to the changing rooms, you could hear this do 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 and the and the, all the sound effects of it. I will get you. There you go. And you could hear the sound effects and and I think that might have been the first time I actually saw this and played asteroids was in Warrior Square swimming pool. And problem is is everyone Everyone wanted to go swimming, and obviously I wanted to go swimming. But I, because I saw these games, I was captivated, and I'm still, and I still am captivated by these games. You know, a bit of nostalgia, and you know, I like all the modern games as well. You know, you've probably seen some of my other videos, Project Cars 2 and stuff like that on the PC. <clears throat> this asteroids was brilliant because you know you could thrust around the screen and get blown up <laughs> and get blown up again but I'm going to do one more because this is such a cool little game and obviously there was um, asteroids 2 come out I might put that on quick in a minute but this was just special because like, you know, you had momentum, there was sort of gravity of such. You know, you're moving about, you know, everything's in motion. And as I say, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, you know, I've, I've done a few retro games, you know, from a YouTube channel. Um, but it was just a good good way of demonstrating this, this new monitor, what is the TV as well, you know. Because I was going to get a, like a DVD player, a Blu-ray player, you know, one of these portable ones. But they didn't have a TV tuner on them. And I can't remember, I don't think you could plug USB SD cards into it. And that's the whole point, you know, watch a film and there we go. Ah, he's got me. Right, let's call that. Let's go to Asteroids Deluxe. So this was a year later. Gotta keep an eye on the time. Okay. Now with this you didn't have a hyperspace what you've got is a shield you see it coming on now and you can actually do this you can bounce off the shield on again now I don't know if the shield has got a certain amount of energy some of these old games didn't have sort of like an energy bar or Now this was slightly different because when you've got, you got this, like a mothership come on and it's split into little pieces. There we go, there it is, look. Now they will just hound you. So it's split into two. Now I've lost them, I didn't have any shield to. <laughs> just hope the um, camera is square on the, on the screen. So it's, it's a bit rough and ready as I said, a bit low tech, but, but as I said, I will, I will probably show these games in their full glory at a, another time, you know, sort of uh, capture the picture and everything rather than video the screen. 
but there's something, there's something sort of um, raw, like quite raw about <laughs> capturing this sort of gameplay like this. Now I've noticed, obviously, because I'm sitting in the van and we've got different light sources, the screen might not be as bright as it would have been if you're sitting in a, in a darkened room. A bit of reflection on the screen, but that's just how it is. Yeah, the good old days of putting 10p in an arcade machine, three lives, and he was lucky if you lasted a few minutes. <laughs> there you go. Right, that's enough of that. Right, so, so that was Asteroids. Now, I did say scramble, didn't I? So, there, there it is. So scramble again, so 1981, there was different clones of this, um, but this is the main one, this is the one I love. Again, I've had it on different systems, different computers, um, but this is the one, this is the arcade version. All right, let's go. Oh, the volume's a bit low. Might have to put this up, let's put it up to 40. It might be too loud, but... Yeah, so, you, so you've got your, got your forward gun, and then you've got also bombs. Now, if none of you have ever played this, you've got to get the fuel. And the fuel up the top, so the fuel's down the bottom, it's running out. And you, that's the fuel, them, them domed shaped things. Must get the fuel. That's the most important thing is get that fuel. So I love playing this in the arcades. It is a hard game like that. <laughs> Now I forgot to say the this monitor what I'm using it's got obviously a built-in battery and rechargeable battery. The battery has got approximately I don't know two and a half hours of uh, charge on it. And you know it's got the it's got a 12 volt cable that you can plug into, it's got a three plug three pin plug plug into. Do you know what? This is quite surreal. I'm sitting in my van playing retro games, <laughs> looking out at the seafront. Obviously you can see a small section of the seafront. The sea is out. Uh, but yeah, this is quite mad doing this. <laughs> oh dear, things you do, eh? Right, we have one more go. So I've only wanted to sort of do, you know, a few minutes of each game. I'm going to try and get these. a few games I want to get through. I mean, these games do want a proper playthrough. So as I said, I will do it at a later date, you know, capture the screen. Oh, come on, Scrubby. So even though I like these games, I'm not that I'm not that brilliant at them. <laughs> I don't care though. Did get expensive in the arcades as a kid, you know, 10p a go, and it was lucky if you sort of survived a few minutes. But what you'd do, you'd watch you'd watch the experts play the game. It's, I mean, you said queues behind these games, people wanting to play them. So you'd, you'd watch how they, how, they, how they play them, and then you'd still only last a couple of minutes. 
see if I can just see if I can get past this and the fireballs. No, uh, look, it's not going to happen, is it? Right, come one more, one more go, because this is this is one of my favourites. Get some more credits in. If I get chance and I remember, I'll um, I'll plug a USB into this and show you uh, you know a, a, a video file I've got. Yeah, as I say, later date. I mean, got this, got the new van. Uh, what is it? Was it around Christmas time? I just no, no, when was it? It was, was it October, November. I think I got this van, and you know, a lot of the idea of having the van is some, the son and me can do a bit of vamping, a bit of travelling around, a bit of camping. And. Um, I've got this screen and I thought, right, okay, this, this, we've got a screen for watching some TV, get, get it, get it, uh, and I thought, well, I can do, uh, I can do some mobile gaming, ain't you lucky people, <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get that far today, but then I am yakking to you. Uh, and it is just a bit of fun. If I was playing this properly, I'd shut up and I'd still die. <laughs> okay, so that was Scramble. Uh, let's come out of that. Um, what shall we have? What shall we have? Um, right, so we've had a couple of shooters. Um, Right, let's have a bit of a classic drive again, a bit of outrun. Right, so this was 1986. <laughs> Pardon me. Right. Get ready. Oh, let's put the volume back down because this is a loud one. So all the games have got their different volumes, so this let's put it at around 30. Which, which one is, oh that's it, <laughs> I forgot which one was Accelerator. So what I've had to do is crank up the uh, brightness very slightly. Oh. Yeah, when this came out in the arcade, this was something to behold this game. It was in a, a moving chair. Um, right at the front of the arcade. Queues of people waiting to get in it. I just hope I haven't put the brightness. But the brightness is on 50, so that's the default setting. But because I'm capturing the uh, gameplay like this, it might look a little bit washed out, or it might look dark, I don't know. But you get the idea, we're just doing this as a, a mobile gaming setup. Yeah, well, yeah, one more, man. one more bash. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's been different incarnations of this game throughout the throughout gaming history, you know, on different consoles and but for me this is this is the original And again, you know, like most games, I, I loved them, but you know, I was only sort of average at them, or sometimes not that average, below average, but... I mean, the arcade version of these games, they were a lot harder anyway, because it was, it was to get your money, you know, get money out of you, and... Oh, well, we've got to get to the first checkpoint at least. Yay! Oh, we've got a bit of slow down then. I don't know what that was about. we even got to the second stage. No, we didn't. <laughs> right, on to the next one. Always like the music on this as well. Oh, what's going on here? Come on, mate. Oh, kicking off down here. So this, that was outrun. Um, who should we have a bit of? Right, okay, I'll tell you what. Got to have a bit of uh, Defender. Now, this was something special. 1980. Are we still recording? Yeah, okay, Mike's okay. This was something special. Um, it was one of them games when, you know, it was. it had so many buttons on it and bits and pieces, it was, it was nothing like it. Uh, and being a little kid at the time, um, you know, you, you you couldn't reach all the buttons properly, if you know what I mean. It was one of them games, that, but, you know, you did... right, we might have to adjust the volume. Um, but it was one of them games, that, you know, it had so many buttons on it, um, and it did, it looked like a solid... What's the volume on? I'll leave it on 30 just to see how we go. Defender. Right, okay, let's have a look at the screen. Let it let the screen load in. It deserves that. If it's gonna do it. If not, we'll just go straight into it. Now nah, let's go into it. Right, okay, we've got to turn that down a bit. Let's come down to 25. So this was one of the games you had you had a scanner at the top and you did most of the time you was flying by the scanner and you have to protect your guys. These to these guys right that noise that that means they're picking up your men. Ah shit. <laughs> oh, I lost them both. Basically you shoot the aliens and then you have to recapture your men, land them on the floor, 
and then you, there you go. You've got smart bombs, and I used one. You only get three. And you've also got a hyperspace like that. Now, they did bring out a second part. Oh, where are we going? That day? They did bring out a second part. We're not doing very well here. Let's have another smart. Was it Stargate? <coughs> was the second part of Defender. That was awesome. Very slightly easier, but not that much easier. Used all my smarts, that's not good. Uh, but yeah, it was very slightly easier. Uh, you had more smart bombs. Uh, I think you had a couple of extra lives, I'm not sure. That was an extra man. And that was a dead man. <laughs> Have some of that. And as you can see, I'm not that good at it, but that doesn't matter. I just love the, the, the lasers, you know, the, oh, no. <laughs> shot me man as well. Oh I'm not going to win any tournaments playing like this, am I? It doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, in the, the second part of this, you had, a, you had another weapon. Um, basically, you went, you made your ship go, like, invisible. But you also had a... It, oh, well, that's one way of saving your man. It made you go invisible, but anything you hit uh, was blown up. And you could also fire your weapon as well, but you only had a, a limited amount of power for that. Won't hit that. Save that to last. <laughs> Shot me man again. Gotta watch them because they lay mines. They're little little buggers they are. Right. Right now we are gonna have to take this pod out. So you, what what you do is that everything comes in and smart the lot. <laughs> now again I had I had this on different consoles, I did it on the Speccy and the Vic 20 and you know all them sort of uh, all them sort of consoles and computers. <laughs> it's all getting a bit hectic now. Okay, so that was Defender. Uh, what we're going to go for now, there was some other games, what we're going to do, ah, uh, again, I know these are shooters, but, uh, where are we, right, <laughs> what's a Gallagher there, oh my god, that's a brilliant game, right, now uh, Galaxians, again, 1979, might have to turn this down. Uh, sorry, put it back to 30. Let's just see how it goes. Right, this is a brilliant game. I remember playing this in the arcades, but the most vivid place that I played this was in the a greasy spoon calf just around the corner from where I lived. And they had a, you know, like I think it was about three or four games. You know, there'd have been a fruit machine, but there was this and some other bits. Let's turn that around a bit, getting a bit of glare off that screen. Now again, it's it's sort of a space invaders, but obviously no shields. And I love the sound effects. Let's just listen to that. 
and the, and the way the gun shot. Boom. And the way you get blown up. Now, I have, it is a pay... Well, it is loud. It is paid, it is paid to park down where I am at the minute. I've not paid, so let's hope I don't get a traffic warden. I thought I'd come down here reasonably early. And, uh, just do a little bit of play. And this was one of them games, it was ever so colourful, you know, in the, in the arcade, that's the, the arcade version. And then, and then you've got to contend with this bit. And it just gets harder and harder and harder and harder until you're dead. Like that. Should we do one more? Another game. So there was lots of these sort of Space Invader, Galaxian type games. And one of them was um, Satan's Hollow. That was a that was a really good shooting game. But I think what I'll, I might put on after this is a bit of Chase HQ, my one of my favourite driving games. Oh, the old wind rock in the van. <laughs> now we've now got more and more people. Waking up down the seafront, the sun still cut, it's really cold out, but it's not cold in the van because I've got the sun coming through this windscreen. It's like a greenhouse, so I'm going to take my jacket off and everything. So when I come out yesterday, it, the, it was horrible. Raining and that's all we've had at the minute is rain and heavy winds, really heavy winds. Camera's still, yeah, it's still recording. Mic's still okay. So it was hard to get a happy medium uh, picture display recording like this because some games come out bright, some of them come out dark. But obviously, they're not like that on the screen. You say the pitch is very good on the screen. Yeah, I wanted to sort of just sort of show you some of the games I really, really do love playing. Uh, you know, from back in the day in the arcades and in the in the chip shops and places like that, my misspent youth. Yeah, I'll probably we do, do a few more games. So I was going to do a, I was going to do a live stream of this, um, but I decided not to. I don't get out of it. <laughs> So that was um, Galaxian. What an awesome game! What a t 
excellent game. Right, let's come out of that. Right, so. So where is, ah, there's Chase HQ. There we go. Again, they did do a second version of this um, and it is good, but I prefer this one. This is, this is the one I love playing from the arcades. Yeah, we know there's a few problems. Again, it goes through these load up screens like it did in the arcade, the actual cabinets. Um, so when I was a kid, I used to know a few people worked in the arcades and they showed us a few bits, opening the door on the machine and, you know, took an interest. Sports car, what is looks like a Lotus. Okay, just got to remember the buttons. I think the boost button is the is the X. I'm using a 360 Xbox controller. He's running down. Here we go. There he is. Right, so you know you've got 70 seconds to get him. She's a turbo. He's a turbo and smash into him. Now, in some of the arcades we played this, I believe you only got. Is it. I think they give you four turbos. Was it three turbos? One of the two. But there was a cut of arcades that weren't as stingy. You know, in the menus they could they could set. So you've got five turbos, or you know. So I've, I think I've got it set on four or five. Oh, we've got them. Your Nick Sunny Jim. So I've got five turbos. As I said, I think they, they say one arcade, they give you, I'm sure they give you four or five turbos. gear in this in this game it's all you add and then you crash <laughs> Continue. Yeah, go on then. Oh, let's 
but I'm quite busy down here. I don't know how much more I'm going to do, but we'll, we'll carry on. We're not, we're not causing any disruptions. There's plenty of places to park. But because it's the weekend, you, you, you do end up getting traffic wardens and stuff. Use the turbos to get in. That's it. Okay. You're under arrest on suspicion of armed robbery and murder. There you go. Right. So that was that. We'll come out of that now. I do want to show you what was what was my other favourites. We've had Defender Scramble, Asteroids, um, right. I've got to do a little bit of Golden Axe now. This is a bit of a, I can finish this, so I won't. <laughs> uh, 1989 Golden Axe. Let's do a little bit of this. Yeah, I know there's there's a problem with it, but it does play. Winners don't use drugs. There you go. Now in the arcade, this was absolutely brilliant. But it was a coin muncher. Um, so I used to play it, but not massively. I used to watch other people play it. Because, you know, being a kid, you didn't have a lot of dough. But I loved it. Um, but I played it a lot more on the consoles, uh, the computers. I just have to... Let's have the bird. She's got more magic. Or she can hold more magic, should I say. Oh, wallop. Now, I'm not going to do loads of this, because it, you know, I think to complete this game, it's, a, it's about half an hour-ish. game it, it was you could have two players on screen Ooh. right they're the magic bottles we need there we go so we've got three bottles on stage one oh no not there got to get that dragon or whatever you whatever it is <laughs> <laughs> oh, nightmare. Oh. Right, come and get on the dragon. Okay. We used to play this so much with my mates and on the computers and stuff. <laughs> What I'll do in a minute, I'm going to use the magic because I, I don't want to be playing too much of this because it's, it's half an hour. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to use magic now. Oh, now. <laughs> Something like that. Now that wasn't full magic because it still had a, a little bit of room left. But the good thing with this dragon... Oh. It does give you a bit more attack ability. Okay. So the little geezer nicks your, nicks your magic, so you've got to go and get it back off him again. And get it quick, because you don't have long before this screen disappears. I love this map. Ye oldie map. I 
Okay, we'll do a little bit more and then uh, we'll choose another game. So what I want to do is do a live stream uh, at some point. So I've still got to get myself a webcam. Um, but yeah, I'd like to play some of these games. Just, just chill, reminisce, talk about talk about the games, talk about whatever. So I have had to do in the last couple of days. I've got son's got uh, he's going to a new school and um, he's excited about it and everything. So consequently, it's new school uniform, you know, shoes, PE kit. Quite half expensive. I think, I think I've spent nearly 300 quid on <laughs> on uniform and stuff. You know, shoes and whole the whole lot you know it's very expensive can't get on that dragon uh, right, let's have some magic so the art of these games is get on the dragons and don't use your magic but there you go no. don't let them get behind you because some magic but oh, yeah I love this golden axe so there was uh, there's been a golden axe 2 and was it revenge of death adder I think it was oh. get out of the way best way to get them off the dragon is just barge them off like that do a running kick but then you get it off. Come on, get on, get on, get on before she gets on. Wait, get off. Oh. <laughs> and there's only so many times you can get knocked off a dragon before it runs away. Right, we'll call that end. So that was Golden Axe. Come out of that. Now I did say Satan's Hollow. Again, I know it's another shooter, but I did play a lot of shooters. I mean, in the arcade, what did you have? Shooters, driving games, and you know, you had a few sports games and bits and pieces. Let's have Satan's Hollow. Now you've got a shield with this, but it only, you only lasts for so long then it has to recharge. Now the basics of this, that little white thing I've just got, you have to build a bridge across this lava or whatever it is. You've got to keep building a bridge. What's the shield? Now they can bomb these bridges that you're building. All right, there's another bit. See the shield powers down there. Now it doesn't last long. Look, so if I hold it, 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 it then has to charge up again. But you can actually move while you've got your shield on, so that does make it a bit easier. Right now, if I want to, I can cross the bridge, but I'm not going to. Oh, let's get in. Now these flags are building up. So I try and kill as much stuff before I have to leave the screen. But I don't think I'm going to... Is that it? Game over. Right, we'll have one more, maybe two more, because this is a good game.
does get quite complicated because they're dropping loads of bombs and I put my shield on. It's funny because some of these games you forget you've got a shield. Oh. Talk about shields, I might have to do a bit of uh, a little bit of Phoenix. going to go to the next screen if I get the chance. But what I normally do is I let these I get as many flags as I possibly can before I, I have to I want to get out of it. <laughs> so we've gone on to the next screen. And you've got to take out this little little geezer. Just a matter of building the bridges, but this you have to as the, as the game progresses, you get have to put more bridges down to get across. And and I like this game because if you use your shield, you have to wait for it to charge up again, and you can move about while the shield's active, and you can crash into the the enemy. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay. So that was Satan's Hollow. What an awesome game. Right, come out of this. Right. Again, these, as I said, these are all the games I used to play in the arcade, in the chip shops. Um, some of the games... I've forgotten the names and some of them I remember and you know I've, I've come across some of the games later on and got oh my god that's what that's called but this next one holds a special place for me uh, and it's Tron now I love the films uh, you know the anime of Tron um, but the game the, the, the arcade cabinet it was so iconic the artwork it was uh, fluorescent it had it had um, it was all lit up it was all singing and all dancing and and just the cabinet I so wish I could have got a cabinet um, and I could still do it um, but if I could have any machine and it's just for the cabinet art you know and the the fluorescent lighting Obviously the game's good, um, but it's more so for the cabinet, um, the artwork and everything, the sound. The, um, but the game's pretty good. Um, there was meant to be a few other, um, they're like little mini games, you know. Uh, there was meant to be a couple of other games included in it, but they didn't do it in time. Um, and then that's why you got Discs of Tron uh, was the second game. But let's have a go. Look at this. And the, the sound and everything, brilliant. All right, tanks, here we go. Now you're using dual sticks here. So one to move around, one to move the turret. Now that little, that diamond in the middle, you can actually go in there and that will beam you to another location. Is he gonna... We've got spiders. Is it spiders? Yeah. Now again, his little arm is you're moving it with the the right hand thumb stick. You just have to configure that in main. When I first got this on main, I thought, how the hell do I move his arm? Um, and you just have to go into the game settings and you know. Oh, light cycles. So you've got a speed button you can use. If you... So that's slow, that's fast. Right, 
is dead. Right, so MCP cone. Now, if you shoot all these little pieces of the MCP cone, you get a bonus, but I don't think I'm going to get them all. You get a bonus if you shoot every bit. And then it just, it just repeats, but it obviously gets a lot harder. I love this music as well, it's just so cool. Now these spiders, they multiply. So if you don't shoot them quick, they just keep multiplying. Uh, and if you touch them, that's what happens. That's, uh, I know we didn't do it. All right, this gets a little bit tricky now. <laughs> should have been full speed there. Let's do that one more time. Ah, he got me again. Well, that was Tron. Awesome game. Right, so, do you know what? I... Oh, track and field. Oh my God, do I do it? No, because <laughs> I look like a, I look like I'm having a fit in my van, wouldn't I? And there's there are people sort of walking by. Some people are in their own their own world and they're not really looking at what's going on. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call the police on me. It look like I'm 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 having a <laughs> I'm having a wank or something. You know what I mean? Oh, brilliant! Can you imagine that on the on the news? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man in van. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, I'll tell you what. Triple punch. Now this is one game I like. Oh, I'll tell you what we have to do. Firebird. Oh, and Lunar Rescue. There's a couple I have to, I have to do them. Now I like this. This is a good little game. So basically you just got to box everything off and then you get the points now if they come into you you can punch you can punch them like so come here you don't have to squash them you can just punch them once or twice but the, you can't punch the flames and you can't do what you just got to leg it from the flames I love this sort of game. It's a, sort of a bit of a puzzly game, isn't it? Oh, and I've just got got. Where am I? Damn bomb. So I was just looking out the window then, and before I go, I'll do a quick pan around if I remember, just to show you. I know you can see a little bit out of the front windows. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Right, so that was that level done. Right, I think what I'm going to have to do is I think we're going to have to forego doing another level. So basically, that's it, that's it. it just carries on, but it's such a good little game. I love it. And that was Triple Punch from 1982. Uh, what was what else was I going to do? Oh, Luna, Luna. Now, Luna Lander is one of my favourites. That was brilliant. You had like a thruster lever and a bolt button. 
that is brilliant but I'm not going to show you that the one I want to show you is a Lunar Rescue now I played this in uh, again it was in the arcades but the most I, the, the most I remember playing it was at uh, the youth club and that was the Focus Focus Youth Club in the town it's not there anymore it's now it's just a car park um, so that's where I played this Again, it's sort of Space Invaders sort of game, um, but it's brilliant. It's such a good little game, and you just got to basically rescue the stranded people at the bottom of the screen. So you've got these landing pads. There's rocks and or asteroids, whatever you want to call them. Now you can thrust slow yourself down but that will use your fuel up and then you've got to go up up the screen shoot the oh and then get killed <laughs> right, okay so absolutely love this game now I have got I have got this on my other newer versions of mine but for some reason there's no sound. It's playable, but there's no sound. Right, so you unload the guy in the mother shit and then off you go again. Let's just check what's the volume on. Oh, it's very loud, isn't it? Put that down the front. Let's put that back to 40. I don't know if that's going to be too loud. It's wicked. You can slow it down. And... Oh, yeah, you get these as well now. in the ship well, that was tight wasn't it this might have even been done by the space invader crew you know because it's got all the same sound effects and but back in the day, there was a lot of clones about of the you know similar sort of games, and they all used all the same sound effects. I don't think copyright was uh, a strict then. And then off you go again. Uh, looking out the window then. <laughs> Loads of fond memories of this at, at the Focus, oh, uh, the Focus Youth Club. They had some old pinballs as well, you know, really, really old pinball games. And yet, I've, I've got up early. I knew the, the weather was going to be nice. It's got a bit cloudy now, but it's still, it's still bright. But I thought I'd get up early and uh, get this sorted. I've not had anything to eat. Just literally had a cup of tea, and I can feel the worms, the worms start to bite.
what else can I show you? What I used to play a lot of. I'm just trying to think. <coughs> oh, I know. Again, it's going to be shooter like shooting type games. Ah, oh, wallet. Is the camera still? Yeah, that's all good. The mic's still on. Right. So that was Luna Rescue. Right now, um, God, there's so many games on there. I mean, just on just on here, we've got 1,740 games. Obviously, some of them are, um, you know, like puzzle type games. Um, what was it? It was. Oh, Saxon. Got to have a bit of Zaxxon, 1982. And we're showing low battery on the laptop, so I don't know how much more we're going to get. The game might just end, oh, unless you hit a brick wall. Now this was similar to, well this is basically Scramble, but from a 3D perspective, because them, them, them red containers are fuel. Look, over here, look, these, you have to shoot them otherwise you run out of fuel. So it's basically scramble, but a 3D view. Now there weren't many games what were 3D at the time, or not for, uh, uh, like this, you know. And you've got your height. <laughs> I keep getting it. Now, I remember playing something similar to this on the Commodore 64. What's the volume on? I think we'll go back down to 30. I think this is a loud one. So I hope the, uh, the audio hasn't been blotted out too much by me or vice versa. But So I am just doing this as a rough and ready recording. Right, so once you've done that first bit, now you get like a space battle. And you've got to line them up. They've got to be at the same the same height. You get you see this beep, and you get like a little little crosshair. But it's easier said than done. Right, how are we doing? We'll do one more. And then there's one other game I might try and get squeezed to him. Because I forgot my notes, what I wrote down for the games that I was going to do. They don't matter. I, I, I know what games I used to like. There was a couple of other games I come across while I was doing this. I thought, oh yeah, I'll put them in. But as I said, I will do a dedicated video on these games because they deserve it, you know. So if I get chance, I'll... Uh, Show you. I'll plug a, a USB into this monitor just so you can see something other than playing games on it. Or should I say, playing games, you know, like these 8 bit, 16 bit games. on there what's the other one um, I've got to find hold on oh my god I've got to do that right this game here there was only one arcade that had this and it weren't like one of the mainstream arcades on the main promenade it was it was all part of the sequel it was up here hill small arcade and this was one of the games I used to play I've got to show you this I used to love this. Awesome game. And this is where I believe um, Metroid was taken from. This, I believe this is the original original. 
Right. No, what was it? Um, not Metroid, what was it called? Right, so you can jump and you've got jet boots. So if you push it twice, it does a double jump and then you get shot. Um, oh my God, I think, what was the game? Um, what was the character? Was it Samus? No, not Samus. Oh God, what's the game? Oh, you know what it is. Um, two, it was a 2D like this. Um, oh, well, look. I know you're all shouting at me what you know it is, but the character, the name of the character in the game is Samus, and it's a woman in this sort of suit. Oh, God, what is it called? Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Well, you can, you can lie down or kneel. I absolutely love this game in the arcade. And I just loved it because you could do like these double jumps and the music and it's the, it's just the sound effects now obviously you have got a time limit so you've got to keep moving that's what happened with the arcade games they always stuck a I always stuck a time limit on it, what I thought was a bit unfair. I mean, the games have got the games are hard enough as it is. Well, they come down with their laser swords. Oh, my belly's properly rummed in there. Now, you can climb up these, I think. Yeah, you can. So, this was a bonus. I forgot about this game. <laughs> Just as well, I didn't have me uh, notes. Otherwise, I never, never found this one. So it gives us a different weapon. Come on, get over. How are we doing for time? Right, it's 5 to 11. I think we're going to have to call this. We'll tell them to take the boss out if we can, and then we'll, we'll go on to the next one. I wish I could remember what this game is, what I was talking about, what this is, what they use this. Oh! Look at this shit, man. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we're getting a little shit. Now you, now you do this sort of battle now, what I thought was excellent. Ah. Uh, and I last two seconds. Okay, so you got. <laughs> oh, hold on, we're still on. Oh, I've got, I've got two. I've got two weapons. Here. I've got laser, and I've got this plasma type thing. All oh, the winds picking up again. The old vans rocking and rolling. Yeah, I love this game. This is such a such an excellent little game. And the thing is, you know, the, all these games, I, I remember them all from the arcades and the chip shops and the 
and some of them I've forgotten the names and some of them I've forgotten the games and it's not until you see someone playing this on YouTube or you go through your selection of games and bot off into warp speed. And off to the next planet. And that you can choose whichever one you want. You don't have to go them in order. Um, but yeah, brilliant little game. Right, so come out of that. Uh, and then, where is it? Ah, uh, there it is. Exegius. It was Exevious. So that was 1982. Now, this game was in, I, mean, I remember this in one of the arcades on the front. And it was right at the front of the shop. And it was so loud, and the sound effects and everything from, from this game, and it was quite a unique game. Um, I know, like, people, young people looking at these games going, what are you going on about? But this nostalgia, and I... See, when we were kids, this was the only thing that we had. This was it. Um, and they still they still hold up as a good, a good game. I might have to do, if I've got battery power, I might have to do two more. I've, really, I should do Pac-Man, and really, I should do Space Invaders. I know we've been doing Space Invader clones. <laughs> you listen to the sounds of this game. Right, so you've got forward lasers, and then that target is for bombing. So you bomb, like, you know gunning turrets and tanks so like over here if you get right in the middle you can normally take out and at the same time oh missed that one oh my belly sound come on squibby you've got to eat Oh, what's live? Oh, I think it might have to be a... I think I'm going to have a bank sandwich. But egg and bank sandwich when I get in. Oh, yes. Seeing as it's Sunday. <laughs> don't, you don't have to have bacon on the Sunday, but... In the UK, it's bacon for breakfast, bacon and eggs for breakfast, and then, and then the, the uh, obligatory Sunday roast... You know, roast chicken or a roast lamb or something like that. Pork, roast potatoes, all the trimmings, the veggies. But today I've got my son and me are having uh, steak and chips. A nice fresh bit of fat, lovely steak and some chickens. So yeah, it's been a bit of mad, a bit of a madhouse this last week or two. Getting my son ready for his new school. Starts next week, so that's uh, all going to be good. Usual setup, you know, meetings with the, the school and the deputy heads, and being shown around the school and whatever. Okay, so that was Exegius. That is uh, one of my all-time favourites. I've got many favourites. So you probably hear me say, so oh, this is my favourite. But there's so many good ones. Right, so, before we lose battery power... Right, now, I know people go, oh, Pac-Man, but I loved it. And I love Mrs. Pac-Man. But this was the original, this was what came first. And then again, there was other clones of this, and they're all good. Oh, I've got to do Phoenix if I get chance as well, haven't I? How much battery power is the laptop that I'm worried about? Got about two hours and 20 minutes laptop, lap time battery. Um, this might come out loud, I know it'll be all right. What volume are we on? Um, we'll leave it on 30. Right, 
Now I played this to death in the arcades, um, but more so, I had this on my VIC-20, Commodore VIC-20, first computer we had as a family, shared between my sister, my brother and me, um, but we had, we had the game, it was, um, we'll just turn this down just a tad, it is, it is very loud, uh, but the game we had, uh, the game we had was called Jelly Monsters, and it was on a cartridge, because the VIC-20 was uh, tape-based loading, but there was a lot of games on cartridge, and it was brilliant, Jelly Monsters, and, and it was the it was the nearest uh, it was the nearest game to the original um, arcade version of Pac-Man that I come across at the time. I played it on the Atari 2600 and Pac-Man. Yeah, it was it was okay. It was playable, but it it weren't really Pac-Man. Um, liked it. But there was better versions on different consoles and things. And so one year we got uh, we got the Commodore Amiga VIC-20 uh, as a joint Christmas present for like sister, brother, and me. And this is one of this is one of the games we got on cartridge. And I remember this being. We played this all day long, as well as some other games we had, but this got played all day long. And I remember going to bed at night, shut my eyes, and all I could see was mazes and dots. <laughs> and ghosts chasing you. Ah, uh, no, hold on. Oh yeah, lovely, right. Hold on, where's he going? There is patterns to this bit, it's, it's, it's actually working the patterns out. Oh, I want that strawberry, can I get it? Yeah, lovely. I'll get them all. Oh. Right, I'm not going to. So just get the dots. See if I can get to the screen where. Oh, here we go. Do one more, and it just gets quicker and quicker. So it does make it a bit tricky playing this because I'm playing it on a, a joypad, what's like an eight-way pad. But the arcade version of this was only a four-way joystick, and it is a lot easier on a four-way. Try and clear this maze and then we'll skip over to, I've got to do a bit of Phoenix because that was, really loved that game. So I, I could do Mrs. Pac-Man but it's, it's pretty much the same. Oh, hold on. Let's get the fruit. Ah, uh, missed it. Through the tunnel. Let's just get the dots. Oh no. Okay, so that was Pac-Man. And I did play Mrs. Pac-Man to death as well, but we're running out of time. So, um, I'll tell you what we are going to have to do. Where is it? Oh, oh my God, I've got to do it. 
Space Firebird, right. Again, another shooter. But this was one of my favourites. This there, there, there was a few arcades where I had this, but not many for some reason. I don't know if it was um, that popular, but I thought it was brilliant. And you had a sort of a different, you could move up the screen and around the screen, but you also had like what was a, like a walk button, or you know, you, you, and you could thrust up the screen, and while you were in walk mode, you could crash into everyone. So let's put some credits in. I love the sound effect of the gun. Listen to this. Let's turn this up a bit. This this warrant's coming up a little bit. Listen to that. Just love the gun. Now one of the arcades that this was in was an arcade called Lucky Horseshoe, and it was based at the bottom of Pier Hill in South End. It's not there anymore. I think it's an ice cream parlour now. Um, but it, downstairs was all fruit machines, you know, like coin winning games and that sort of stuff, or slots if you're from America, that sort of. Uh, so it was mainly them sort of games, the gambling games downstairs. They did have a few new. Uh, arcade games but it was predominantly gambling but upstairs you had uh, the whole floor upstairs you paid you paid 50p to get to, to enter and it gives you an hour in this arcade to play and there were all these games all these retro games there was everything and there was all on free play and what I used to love about it if it wasn't busy I mean, if you went on the weekend, it was jam-packed. But if you, if you went sort of midweek or when you bunked off school, <laughs> uh, there was no one in there. So you'd, bunk, you'd pay your 50p and he wouldn't come and check. He'd say, you'd go that down, he'd say, hello mate, I'll, I need to go and go to the loo or something. Or go and get a drink. Can I come back in? Yeah, yeah, no worries. You see, it's not busy. And he was a right, right decent bloke. So we used to have a good couple of hours in there, or more than that. And it was a good place to go when uh, you didn't want to go to school. Right, I'm going to use my walk. Oh, I've killed everyone. So while in walk mode, you can still fire. No, I didn't get anyone. So you can still fire. And you've got to get these bombs, otherwise they, they smile everywhere. Now I have got another version on the on my main on the other main games of this, but again there's no volume to it, and this is the only version of main. It's a really old version, and it's got it's got all the sound. I mean, it, 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 there is something missing. I can't remember what it is, but it's it's pretty much here all the game. Excuse me, walk. I know I haven't got no walks left. I don't. I think you only get one walk. Maybe per life. But look, you can go sort of right up the corners of the screen. Awesome game. Right, so we'll come out of that. Um, I don't know how much time we've got. Oh my god, Space Harrier. See, all these, these are just brilliant. Right, low battery. We've you should, right, I don't think we're going to, what was I going to do, I was going to do Space Invaders and Phoenix, weren't it? I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get time to do this, so. Now we might lose the screen of the laptop in a minute. Listen to this.
Look at this, I love how that exploded. Again, you've got a shield, but the shield you could, once you use the shield, you couldn't move or fire. So like, I'm gonna try and, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do the shield. So while you're on shield, you can't move your ship, and you can't fire, and we're dead. <laughs> right, come on in, come on Squibby. Gonna have to, this is gonna have to be the last game, I think. We're gonna have to go doing Space Invaders, but you saw that in golf. level you've got a, a rapid fire whereas that first level it's, it's a very slow slow gun but you've got sort of like a rapid rapid gun now Bosh. but again I had this on different systems you know right now you've got to shoot the eggs now this is And they hatch into hatch into bigger birds. But what I used to like is when you when you clip them, when you just clip their wing. Oh, <laughs> now another another round of eggs. So we get the mother ship now. We've just got to sh shoot the geezer in the middle. There you go. Love this music. I think we're going to have to call that quits because my battery, it's going to die in a minute. So, let's just come out of this. Shut the computer down. It is on low low battery. We've actually, we've actually been here quite a while. Turn her off. Right, so, now what I want to show you before, we've still got plenty of battery on the on the GoPro. Yeah, okay, I know it's, yeah, yeah, all right, okay, well then you just do that, didn't you? There you go, see you later, mate. Right, so, let's put, yeah, go into hibernation, no, no, it. So, input, so we want it on USB. I might show you the TV quickly. I might put the antenna in. The only problem is, is with the antenna on, I might get a copyright strike for, you know, for obvious reasons. So let's unplug. Oh no, I don't want a radio on. <laughs> Hold on. Turn that off. Right, so. Now, I don't know if you can see, you might not be able to see it very well, but you've got the antennae, VGA, you've got, you know, all your inputs, inputs and stuff. Um, and the SD card plugs in this top slot. I can't really point it, but you can see it. And on the back, see, there's only, there are only small speakers, but you can mount this, this, goes up and down and there's also a bracket but it's a for, for 75 quid I'm well happy with this put that in there 
and you do get like you do get a small remote control it's nothing special it's very cheapy but it's a movie right. YouTube right so this is me racing um, on project cars 2 oh, DJ Squibby here, another session of Frag, fantastic retro arcade gaming, and we're going to have another little session of Project Cars 2 on the PC, a little bit of game therapy for you and for myself. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Who was that handsome chap in there? <laughs> now, this has already been put up on YouTube. But Okay, so we're at uh, Donington Park GP, there's 20 of us on the track, I'm going to battle through, try and keep it clean, let's go for it. Put the volume up a little bit. Right guys, I'm not going to bore you with this too much, I just oh, wanted to show you the, the screen and the setup. And because he don't stop waffling. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a, it is a pretty good TV monitor um, for being mobile. Right, so let's stop that. You can watch this video on, on my YouTube channel, they're all up there anyway. So we we'll stop that. So turn that off. Right, okay. Take that out. Bosh that off. So guys and girls, that was that was the mobile experience. <laughs> um, what I will do is let, let's just show you my office that we've been in for the last couple of hours. Um, I'm just going to take this off the tripod. I can get it off. Sorry about the wiggling. All right, guys, how are we doing? Right, so this is where we've been for the last couple of hours. Um, probably bored you to death, um, but I'll show you. So look, we're sitting in the van. There's the monitor. There's Animal. There's the tripod, and there's the laptop. It is a really ancient dinosaur Acer laptop, but it still works. And um, but that's it, but yeah, there's the view. So it's actually getting quite busy now. And what's the time now? It's 11.20. It's got to pan around nice and slowly, just so you can see where we've been for the last couple of hours-ish. All good. Right, I'll tell you one other thing. I don't really want to do the TV channels but I guarantee you it works um, but I might buy myself a, uh, a booster antenna what is powered just plugs into the USB on here and then it's powered if I put the TV channels on I might get a copyright strike because it's obviously advertising <laughs> the channels of the TV but it works it works fine um, but that's the only thing I couldn't do that's why I showed you me driving in Project Cars 2 um, but so here we are Sunday at the South End Seafront okay guys right thanks for watching liking and sh subscribing and sharing all those wonderful things um, live long and prosper and may the force be with you all and I'll catch you next time cheers guys see you soon